Ever since the 1960s, the US Navy has been developing a wide array of impressive laser weapons. In May 2020, the USS Portland showed off one of the most powerful yet. The Technology Maturation Laser Weapon System Demonstrator successfully shot down an unmanned aerial vehicle with its laser weapon during a series of tests at Pearl Harbor. Exponentially cheaper than projectile weapons, it could even be used to destroy other ships. The scalable power of these laser weapon systems remains a deeply classified secret. Laws. In 2012, California company Kratos Defense and Security Solutions was awarded an $11 million contract to develop the ANSEQ-3 laser weapon system, also known as LAWS, as part of the Navy's Directed Energy and Electric Weapon Systems program. A regular projectile weapon typically needs to be designed, manufactured, transported, and maintained. In contrast, some laser weapons cost as little as 69 cents per shot. This cost-effectiveness has garnered a lot of attention among global military forces over the last decade. Kratos' large ship defense system uses an infrared beam from a solid-state laser array. It's particularly effective against unexpected low-end threats. The laser's potency is highly adjustable. It can be shot with an output of up to 30,000 watts to hinder or potentially destroy the target. It can also be used with a low wattage output to warn potential crews by harmlessly pointing to their eyes or to burn the target's sensors. When facing a small boat, the laser could target its engine to disable it and render it inoperable. Against a large helicopter, the laser could burn through the engines and take it down. USS Ponce The weapon was first tested in 2014 on the USS Ponce, an Austin-class amphibious transport deck. The goal was to conduct field testing during a 12-month trial deployment in the Persian Gulf with the US 5th Fleet. The deployment's objective was to test a laser weapon's feasibility in a maritime environment against arduous weather conditions. It would also test the amount of power required against various potential threats. The LAWS is relatively easy to use. It's operated through a flat-screen monitor with a gaming-like controller integrated into the ship's systems. During testing, the ship's defense system engaged an unmanned aerial vehicle and a simulated small boat attacker. Although it is known that the LAWS has scalable power levels, its exact range is classified. The testing phase was successful. Officials said it worked beyond their expectations, and sailors called it the maritime equivalent of the Hubble telescope. In September 2014, the LAWS was officially declared an operational asset. A ship commander now had permission to use it in self-defense. However, laser weapons cannot target humans, under strict stipulations of the Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons, which prohibits the use of weapons considered excessively injurious. Targets such as drones, helicopters, and patrol craft are allowed. USS Portland The USS Ponce was decommissioned in 2018, so the US Navy needed another ship to continue testing its laser weapon systems. After a thorough review to determine which ship had the best available space, power, and cooling capabilities, the USS Portland transport dock ship was selected. In 2018, an improved next-generation iteration of the laser weapon system was installed onto the USS Portland. Simultaneously, Northrop Grumman engineers began testing their own version of a laser defense system, the Technology Maturation Laser Weapon System Demonstrator. This 150 kilowatt laser weapon was tested at the Northrop facilities in California before being sent to the USS Portland in 2020. On May 16, 2020, the USS Portland fired the high-powered laser weapon at a drone while performing a series of tests off of Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. The video shows how the Portland crew successfully destroyed the unmanned aerial vehicle with the laser system. According to Captain Kerry Sanders, the commanding officer of the USS Portland, quote, By conducting advanced at-sea tests against UAVs and small crafts, we will gain valuable information on the capabilities of the solid-state laser weapon system demonstrator against potential threats. In the immediate future, the laser weapon system will continue to be tested and upgraded to act as a short-range defense system against drones and boats. While being significantly cheaper than gun-based setups, laser beams can also be disrupted by circumstances as simple as dire weather conditions, 
and are restricted to line of sight firing to keep the beam on target. Laser systems are built to supplement other sorts of missile and gun-based self-defense systems rather than replacing them. So far, they've proved to be an excellent addition to amphibious transport dock ships.